Hey there, so I'm not what you'd call an expert harmonica player, I'm more of a folk music um, harmonica style player, definitely influenced by listening to a lot of Bob Dylan when I was growing up and kind of really wanting to do the same sort of thing where you have that harmonica brace and you're playing while you're playing the guitar. So not really someone who's going to have a harmonica up to the mic and, and rip a blues solo or really get into it. So, you know, disclosure up front that I'm not an expert player here who's going to school you on exactly the ins and outs. I'm just giving you my impression of what some of the different brands sound like and why I prefer the Meister Klasse, although it's a little pricier and I only have one of them, but it's my personal favorite. Now, I play a lot of different styles of music and I don't always bring the harmonica out, but when I'm sitting at home playing a bunch of Bob Dylan tunes, I love to bring the harmonica out and play things like Sad-Eyed Lady of the Lowlands. Visions of Johanna. And these visions of Johanna have my mind. Or tons of other great Dylan songs where the harp can come in. And I've also written some songs of my own where I've brought that into play on the albums. And there are times when I sort of think, isn't it a little cliche just wearing that harmonica brace, you know, Neil Young, Bob Dylan, everyone's done it, and you know, who do you think you are? But I had a pivotal experience when I was playing late one night at a, at a house in Ireland many years ago. It had been a long night and uh, we were hanging out in someone's house and you know, I had some doubts about the harmonica and somebody said to me, no, don't, don't try to you know, judge how good you are at the harmonica. The, the point is that you're playing two instruments at the same time and, and that just felt like such a cool way to express it. And, that really put it in context. No matter how limited I might be, there is something cool about playing two instruments at the same time and really fun to accompany yourself. So if you're starting out with the harmonica, don't worry too much, you know, just kick into it and have a little fun. But the first harmonica that I'm going to look at is the Honer Blues Harp. Now the Honer Blues Harp is kind of a staple of blues music and all the harps I play are diatonic. So um, you can get chromatic harps. My father had one years ago and I found it in the attic. Super weird, couldn't make any sense of it. But most of the diatonics, you're really playing a major key. And then when you when you suck instead of blowing, you're playing cross harp. So you can get a different key and you can kind of bend notes and get some of the bluesier sort of pentatonic feeling things going on. So that's super cool. So the blues harp is synonymous with blues music over the years. It's one of the staples. But I'm not a big fan of it. Um, Pretty much all the harps, all the harmonicas that I have, have brass reeds on them, so that's a kind of a commonality, but the construction and the design and the materials vary. This blues harp feels like it has a wooden construction material with a stainless steel cover. So it's got a nice brassy, beautiful sound. It sounds pretty good. It's acceptable. I'm not a big fan of it. One of the main reasons I'm not a big fan is the construction of it has this lip here where the stainless steel plate cover overlaps the wooden construction. So that can kind of slice your mouth a little bit. If you're some kind of, you know, um, heavy fish-lipped kind of harp player and you play this thing all the time, then great. Maybe you, you know, you're the sort of guy that, uh, you know, play harp all day till your lips bleed, and that's good for you. Um, for someone like me, uh, it's just a little uncomfortable. So I don't play this one a lot, even though it sounds pretty nice. 
It's not that expensive. I've seen them going for $40 to $50, so that's not too bad. The next one I have is the is the Hona Marine Band, and these, these uh, again, it's wood uh, on the inside here. That's, I think, pear wood and stainless steel plating. Again, the reeds are brass, and these are, I've got, seen them going for $40 to $70. Uh, this is a very old design, a staple, and again, used a lot for blues and, and other, t other types of kind of rock and, and folk music. And this one's made with, with nails, it's actually nailed in place. A lot of the designs have um, screws to hold the place together. This is traditionally used using nails, so they've continued to design it that way. Again, another staple, a uh, very popular one. This one, the plates um, do overlap a little bit as well. So again, you know, this is the kind of thing that if you're a serious harmonica player, maybe you build up calluses on your lips the way guitarists do on their fingers, and this is not gonna bother you. But if you're a beginner, just something to think about. Um, the more uncomfortable the instrument is, maybe it's gonna be an obstacle to you playing it, but it sounds pretty cool. Now, I'm not a great player, but it's super easy to bend the reeds on this, so you can really hook into those blues riffs, and um, definitely a nice brassy sound. A little shriller, I want to say, than the, the blues harp. That's a C. Um, the blues harp I was playing earlier was an A, so you know a couple of keys down, and obviously that's going to sound a little bit higher pitched. Um, this is a D. So yeah, a really nice sound, but you know, instantly you can kind of feel that's a little tough on the lips. The other type of harmonica I have is a Lee Oscar. Lee Oscar is a famous harmonica player, and he's kind of designed this entire line himself. These, at first, I was a little skeptical because it looks like they are plastic. They have brass reeds, stainless steel plating on the outside, but uh, yeah, it's it's plastic. So I thought, well, how good can those be? But they're actually very comfortable. The the seam and the join of the plates and the internal body, there's no kind of discomfort for the lips. My impression is the reeds don't bend quite as easily, but it does have a beautiful, rich sound. It's almost less brassy and a little richer and warmer than some of the honers. So a big favorite of mine. That's a G, this is a D. So yeah, let's try the, the D Marine Band and the D Lee Oscar. So actually, they sound very close. This does sound a little bit um, more synonymous with the kind of traditional blues harp sound that you might be familiar with, but they're fairly close in terms of tone and texture, but I do feel like the lower octave that you go with these, they just sound a little bit, um, a little bit warmer. The other cool thing about the Lee Oscar, and it's kind of a small thing, but the cases, the way the cases are designed, they kind of slide together so that they're actually, you know, you can group them together so you could conceivably have you know, multiple keys of harmonica all stacked together like that. So that's kind of cool. That's a nice little feature. So those are all great harps, but really the one that is closest and nearest and dearest to my heart and the one that I've probably played the most is this Honer Meister Klasse. And it's not one I find in the stores often. I think I found this one in maybe Walton's guitar store uh, in Ireland, in Dublin, I want to say. Um, but whenever I've gone into places like Guitar Center or other guitar stores and I'm in there buying other equipment and I feel like looking at what harps they have, they typically don't have this. And when I ask, do they have this, usually they don't, they don't even know about that particular model. You can find it online. It's not that hard to find online. You can get it on Amazon or um, places like Reverb. Uh, I've seen them going from 110 to 172 dollars. So you can definitely shop around and get the best bargain and not pay 170. You can get it probably for 110, but that's you know twice, almost three times what you pay for some of the other harmonicas that are out there. Is it really worth that kind of money? I personally think so. It's much heavier and heftier than some of the other ones. The Marine Band is kind of the lightest. I feel like the Blues Harp's a little heavier. The Lee Oscars are heavier again. This guy is heavier than all of them. It has chrome-plated covers, anodized aluminum 
comb and extra thick reeds and they're brass but they're nickel plated but what's beautiful about it is just it's just visually a, a beautiful kind of work of art it's just there's a lot of elegance and thought that went into the design and it's super comfortable you know unlike some of the other honers it doesn't have any kind of lip issue or seam issue where it protrudes a little bit and, and causes you any discomfort when you're playing it's super comfortable and just the the design of it it's easy to hold and it fits really easily in the mouth um, but the sound is what's very beautiful about it So if you compare the Meister class of C to the Marine Band C, I mean this it, this one sounds brassy and maybe just feels a bit more like what you'll hear on a blues record, but there's something about this that just has a really special sound for me, and I can't recommend this enough. Very special. So. For some of my favorite Dylan songs where I'll use this, like Just Like a Woman or It's All Over Now, Baby Blue, this just, you know, if I don't have this harmonica when I'm playing that at home or at a gig or an open mic, it just doesn't feel the same. And this is also the one that I used to record on one of my favorite uh, of my own singer-songwriter ballad compositions, uh, How Long, Kitty. And that's a very old song, one of the first songs I wrote. You know, back in those years, I was listening to a lot of Bob Dylan, and I'd written most of my songs in minor keys, you know, teenage angst and all that. Minor keys, you know, you feel bad, minor key. And hearing, you know, going through the Dylan records, kind of studying them one by one, and just hearing the power of emotional lyrics with a major key, just, I was thunderstruck at how obvious that was and how simplistic my songwriting had been. So this is one of the first songs I wrote in a major key and I threw in a harmonica solo, as you do when you listen to a lot of Bob Dylan, you've just bought yourself a harmonica brace. And Meister Klasse uh, was the guy that did it for me. And um, again, amateur player, but the beauty of the sound, it just was pretty unstoppable. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why I love this so much. The silver shiny plating on it, the heft of it, the sol the solidity of the of the construction. It's been around a lot with me. It's got a little beat and busted. I think some of the reeds are a little bit twisted. You know, one of the things it says online is this is not good for beginners. I think some of the other models I've looked at here are better for beginners because they're easier to bend the reeds and easier to get the kind of sounds that you want. Some of the other models, they need to open up a little bit and you need to play them in. When you get a new harmonica, if you just start sucking and blowing super firmly right away, you can actually damage the reeds or overbend them and then the notes are a little sharp or they're dead or they don't play. And I've probably done that to some of my harps over the years. In fact, I have two Lee Oscars in G because I messed up one of them just by overplaying it. So, you know, I would take care when you buy them, play them in. Some people say drop it into a pint of beer and it'll kind of take care of that seasoning much faster for you. I don't know if I'd recommend that, but so that's my experience with harps. Again, disclaimer, I'm not a blues harmonica player. I'm just a, a, a multi-genre guitarist, singer, songwriter, and I play a lot of folk and ballads and that's where I bring the harmonicas in and, you know, if I saw more Meister classes out there in the guitar stores, I'd probably own more in more keys and I feel like I might just get a few more online if I'm going to do some more of those types of gigs because there's something about that sound which is better than a lot of the other models that are out there. So that's all I have for today. If you like what you see on the channel, as always, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you're notified when I post new content. And I'll see you all again in the next video. Let's go.